Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I've been doing some salvage missions in Elite Dangerous Odyssey lately, and they're quite good fun. I'll tell you why. I've gone and got my missions salvaged, like I say. Grab a ship schematic from the crash site. There it is. Get myself to a particular system, Luana in this case. Threat levels three. There's going to be a little bit of peril, a little bit of danger there. Get the ship schematic. Get back to the ship. Away we go. And for that, I'm going to get a power regulator. Nice and easy and really good for engineering. On the same planet, I believe, there's also another suit schematic I can pick up from another site as well. So, once I've got near to the particular planet in question, in this case, Luana 5A, I can see I've got the stress beacon, threat 1, and minor wreckage, threat 2. Scrolling down as well, I've got nothing else particular in system, so I know that's exactly what I need to complete these two missions. Now, here's the thing. They're all on the same planet. How cool is that? So, let's get ourselves down. There's a distress beacon straight away, directly in front of us. So, we're going to get in. On this particular mission, the light is going to be with us, so it's all going to be illuminated. None of this creeping around in the dark, which I know an awful lot of people don't like. And with the new lighting improvements and detail improvements in Elite Dangerous and Elite Dangerous Odyssey, it certainly does make a difference. So we're going to come in nice and steep. As steep as we possibly can. In fact, we can probably angle that way a little bit more before we pull up and drop down at the steepest angle we can get. That's a good 45. We'll get in there nice, around about the 10 to 12 kilometer mark, I believe. While we're doing that, we're going to take a look at the system map. On the system map, this particular planet, there it is. Nice and easy. Planetary information, no atmosphere. Loads of stuff you can go mining with. That's great. Here we go, there's our beacon. We're about to drop and go into glide. As you would normally. Now, for this, I'm going to be using the Maverick suit. I have to cut some panels open and what have you. And I do like the Maverick suit anyway. I hardly ever use the Dominator. Uh, and very rarely do I use the Artemis exploration suit. I think that's a little bit boring. I understand it's a necessary game mechanic that they've put in. But it's not really my bag. Bit of an action person, if you know what I mean. So here we are. Right, you all thought I was going to crash then, but I wasn't. We're going to swing ourselves around, find a good place to park. There's a distress beacon. It's a crashed SRV. Let's see if we can park the ride. We're just looking for that landing recticule to turn blue here we go something around by here I think let's get this on the deck and we're down now it's not too far away quite satisfied you know we can get there without too much messing about not even worthwhile getting our SRV out to go and do it. We're going to walk over, we're going to cut the back panels, we're going to take the take the item out. Look at these lovely renderings of rocks. That's just a rock. But the detail on this rock is brill. Um, right, let's move on. There's the point which we want. And let's get ourselves over there. We can run as far as we want. We are armed. We've got shields. We can jump quite a fair bit as well with the gravity that we've been awarded on this planet. And here is this broken and beaten up SRV. So, there you go. There's the container. Pow. Suit schematic. Mission accomplished. But because we've got 
our Maverick suit. Let's cut the back panels off that. Pick all the bits off the wreckage. Nice and easy. Crouching down. So we can get under there. Can we get under? Yes, just about, I think, perhaps. Can we? Not sure if we can get under there. It's not going to let us. Yes, it is. Catch the engine bay. Regulators. Depleted regulator. Don't need that. I'm sure there'll be an engineer at some stage of the game that will say, yes, folks, you need to bring me 10 depleted regulators. There's the SRV. No pilot. Canopy open. Who knows where they've gone? Would have been good if they'd sort of left a body somewhere over there you could find. Um, but on this occasion, no, it's just been what it is. Mission accomplished. We've got everything we possibly can from this SRV. Nothing else to do other than marvel at the fact that it's an SRV. Um, even checking it out in third person doesn't really award us any other bonus other than the fact that, you know, graphical upgrade. So let's get back to the ship and on to the next mission. So for that, suit schematic. Great, nice and easy. No one turned up. No real threat. Just a bit time laborious in what we had to do. But nice, brightly lit planet or hunk of rock. The sun's out, shining nicely on the ship. Nice and easy. Right, let's get in and get on our way. And board. So here we are at the second crash site. Taking a look at where it's a bit more turbulence for some reason. Uh, we've got the minor wreckage, of course, the uh, the stress beacon was the first one we did. It's just threat two, I suppose that one being threat one. Got our lights on, got our infrared vision on as well. We're going to get a little bit closer. But not too far away from the surface, so I gotta take it easy. Bring it in nice and gentle. We're gonna get nice and close to it just in case. We can see what happens. People are gonna more than likely is people at the site. Again, it looks like it's an SRV from the initial look I've seen. So we're gonna have a bit of pew going on here. Let's line ourselves up to the site. It's getting close, but like not too close. Looking for that sweet landing spot. There it is. Power to shields. Disembark. Fingers on the mouse. Right, shields on. Weapon out. Got my sniper rifle. We've cleared the ship. They can start making their way towards us now. Take it nice and slow. Nice and easy. Even though we've seen them, they haven't revealed themselves yet. And we've parked that way because of the ship. And we could have rolled in with the SRV, all guns blazing. But where's the fun in that? Okay, so we can see the SRV. They're quite a way. We can probably get over there. Get what we've got to get. There's the schematic. They haven't seen us yet. Glitch in the game, perhaps? Did they think, ooh, there's a massive ship flying overhead and it's parked right over there? I know. Let's stay far, far away. Perhaps they're scared. Unlikely. Um... They still haven't come over. Could this be a new bug in the game? We don't know. 
fleecing this for everything we can. We can't get underneath it, unfortunately. No other panels to get to. I'm seeing two people. He's firing at me with a shotgun. Here he comes. One down. We've just clipped him. He's coming right at us. And he's down. We can get over there as well. Do a bit of scanning. Get the bounty. Keeping our ears out as well for any ships that might be coming down. Where'd the other guy go? Around you somewhere. Not to worry. It's only a small bounty. There we go. Worse state than the other one. And that was a nice easy salvage mission. And for that we're going to get some more materials. Just be warned. When you go down to these missions. They could get a little bit tasty. Depending on the threat level. We saw threat one. No one really turned up. Um, they turned up after the event. And then threat two. There was two guards standing by. And we took them out. So quite easy really. Um, easy money for the new commander. If you're just starting out in Elite Dangerous as well. And it also gets you a little bit au fait with the combat system. Anyway, I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching. Short video on some salvage missions there. Nice and easy. Easy money to be made. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon.